here, Joanne Butler here again from Organic Gardens. Welcome back to Reuse in the Garden, where today I'm going to show you how to reuse your plastic bottles to create a self-watering plant pot for your plants. Okay, so if you're a bit like me and it's coming into the winter, autumn months now and it's getting a little bit chilly, you don't want to have to come out to the potting shed to water your plants all that often. So by using this self-watering plant pot is a great way to water your plants like a little top up and then leave them for a few days. The way that it works is by using a capillary effect by putting water in the bottom of the bottle and then the wick brings the water up to the plant to meet the plant's needs as and when required. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how we do this and what we need simply uh, to do this, I'm just going to make sure you can see it in the camera, is a plastic bottle, some capillary matting, although you don't have to use the capillary matting, you can simply just use some old carpet as long as it's woolen and that it has that wick effect. Uh, you could also use something like a shoestring as well, as long as it can carry the water up. You also need a sharp knife. And if you're a young person using this, you may need to get some adult help. And the same goes for some sharp scissors as well to cut the bottle. Then also you're going to need a garden trial. Some potting compost with some perlite or sand in it. And of course, then your your garden plant that you want to plant up. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to take the bottle. And what I'm going to do is use the knife to make an incision about one third of the way down to the bottle. And I'm going to cut the whole way across the bottle uh, to separate the both sides. And then, as you can see, we have two halves of the bottle. Now, the idea is that the top half, without the lid on, fits into the bottom half. And the wick that we're going to place through it comes to the bottom and then it is able to take it up like this. But there's a little tricky thing that we're going to do now, and that's to be able to install the wick properly into the bottle. So first of all, we're going to cut a long, thin bit, about one centimetre by 20 centimetres of your capillary or your wick. Okay. Now, this is a bit of a tricky part, but what I want you to do is you're going to feed the wick down through the bottle like this until it's down about 15 centimetres and then I want you to try and put the top back on. Now at this point it doesn't need to be a tight fit, you're just going to be positioning it on to hold it for a while while you're filling it up with soy. So if that makes sense this is the way that it's going to look. Okay then you get the top of your bottle and you just set it into the bottom to give you some hold while you fill this part with soy. Once you have it filled to the top with soy, you can then take it back out of the holder and then you're going to make space for your plant using your hands. Okay, so at this point you have the wick on the inside of the bottle, on the inside of the bottle, and then it's coming down outside the bottle like this. Put it back in the holder, and then you're going to take your plant and you're going to pot it up into your plant pot. Hold it upside down like so and hold your fingers under the root and just let it fall out.
and then you can now fill the bottom of the bottle up with some water. Take your pot out and fill with water. You don't have to fill right to the top, but you can generally fill it up about one fifth of the way. Then you're going to take your bottle and it's at this point that you can take the cap off. A little bit of soil might fall out, but that's okay. And then you're just going to place it into the water to let the wick do the rest of the work.